Welcome back to the Home Studio Simplified channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and consider subscribing as this would be the best way to stay in touch with all of the videos that I upload. Go ahead and click that bell icon while you're at it so that every time I do upload a video, you'll be the first to be notified. Today we're going to be talking about cleaning up your audio folders to save space on your PC or your Mac. So when we go to our desktop view, you'll see here that here's the song that we just recently finished on our Creating a Song step-by-step -step video series. And there's a lot of tracks that's involved, which means there's been a lot of takes that have been actually added to the folder, the audio folder for this. So if we go up to Utilities here, we go to Clean Audio Folder. This will actually bring up this window here. What this does is this actually searches the audio folder that's tied to this particular project and will find all of those clips that are not actually being used in the project. And as you can see here, I've got all kinds of clips that are being uh, just stored there for no apparent reason. 284 of them, it has told me. Now, if I were to delete any of these files outside of this clean audio folder feature within Cakewalk, I could potentially end up damaging this mix when I go to save it and actually delete something that was needed. However, this is going to find everything that's not tied to the project and which will allow me then to delete all of these without harming my project whatsoever. So now if I was to close this out and was even to close out this particular mix. Okay, so you can see now that even after I've opened up this mix again, that it has in fact opened up just the way that it should. There's no audio files that are missing and everything that's not being used in this particular project has been deleted, effectively saving myself a lot of space. Wave files take up a lot of space and music in general, whenever you record it, you have many different takes. The program will save all of those takes for the explicit reason of making sure that you maintain everything that you've recorded. But at the same time, if you're not using it, then you don't need to have that stored on your PC or Mac. Next, we're going to talk about a little known program that's out there. And this is called the Glary Utilities Program. So if I was to search my C drive right now, I would be able to analyze it with this Glary Utilities. And by analyzing the disk space, it's going to give me a representation of everything that's on that disk and where most of my memory is being hogged. So it's going to give me a pie chart here in just a moment that's going to tell me exactly where all of my memory is being allocated to. Okay, so after the disk space analyzer has done its analyzation of the entire disk, it's then going to bring up this pie chart, which is going to tell me where all of my main uh, data hogging is happening. So right now it's telling me at the top that it's in users. I can click on that and it'll take me into a separate file. It's telling me it's on the user for home studio. It's uh, the next IS after that is documents. And then you'll notice music production is right under there. So not only is this excellent in order to figure out exactly uh, how much space is being taken up on your computer and where it's being taken up, but you can actually go a step farther and begin to find things that could be deleted to free up that space. So by and large, if you can keep your disk space under the 50% mark, you'll do a lot better speed-wise for any program that you might try to run. Now, the next thing that you can do is actually find empty folders with the Glary Utilities, which is another awesome feature. And it will basically just search your entire drive, whichever drive you select, and find empty folders that are not in use. And you can select them all at once and delete them all. Okay, and having ran that scan, you can see that these are all the files that my computer has been uh, holding on to that have nothing, absolutely nothing in them. And so I can just simply go up here to the top and select them all at once and delete those checked folders. By opening up the program in a separate window, I actually have usage of more options in the fact that I can do a disk cleanup, registry repair, I can fix shortcuts that are linked to things that they don't belong to. I can also use this, which is an awesome tool that you can use, especially if you've installed Cakewalk by BandLab, but you owned a previous version of Cakewalk. With Duplicate Files Finder, you can actually click on this and scan one of your drives for any files that might be duplicated. So here are all the files that have been duplicated on my hard drive. And as you can see, a majority of them are actually tied to the Cakewalk 4, which is the new Cakewalk by BandLab and the Sonar Platinum. So a good way that you can do this is actually select Check Intelligent. 
Now this is going to check all of those from the Cakewalk Core, which I don't want to delete. So I can simply click this drop down box and do a check invert. Now this will select everything from Sonar Platinum, which I really don't need anymore. So having all of these selected, I can go ahead and delete these checked files. And yet again, that frees up extra space on my hard drive. Along with optimization and improvements features, you can also do a variety of other things such as file shredding, file undelete, file encryption, browser assistance, you have the disk space analyzer which I've already spoke of. You can also take large files and split them into smaller manageable files and then rejoin them later. And with system tools you can even do a registry backup, a registry restore, and even repair system files if there's been any corruptions within your Windows system. Another awesome feature is this software analysis. This will tell you which softwares are needing updated on your computer at the time when you press scan. And then it will even take you to an applicable website which you can go and then upgrade each one of those. So these are the files that it says that are in need of upgrading. And I can simply click this button here to download the upgrade straight from here. So by clicking on the tracks eraser, I can also effectively eliminate anything that may have showed up uh, in my cache files, which would also bog my computer down, and even go a step farther to uh, empty out my recycle bin and the temporary files that are stored on my desktop as well. The one-click maintenance feature that's found in Glary Utilities can also help to clean up a lot of different things and just get your computer off to a better start if you're going to be running uh, several different programs and using several different programs on it. As you can see here, uh, it has a registry cleaner, a shortcut fixer, spyware remover, disk repair, tracks eraser, temporary files cleaner, startup manager, all in the very same thing. You just simply click uh, begin your scan and then it's going to go through each one of these checked areas and find out which areas need addressed. By going to the Clarisoft website, you can actually choose to whether you want to update the utilities or just certain aspects of the program itself. Like say for instance, all you wanted was the duplicate file cleaner, you can download that in and of itself. Or you can get the utilities, which would be here. I hope this video has been helpful and hopefully it'll save you a lot of space and probably a lot of headaches when it comes to trying to find certain files when you're not searching for a duplicate and you're actually going for the right one. Once again, this has been Robert McClellan of Home Studio Simplified. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon before you leave and I'll talk to you all later.